Nipsey Hussle left a legacy for the masses. On March 31, 2019, the 33-year-old rapper was shot and killed outside of his Marathon clothing store in Los Angeles. The following year, he posthumously won two Grammy Awards for Best Rap Performance for his feature on DJ Khaled's Higher, as well as his own track, Racks in the Middle. Hussle was a leader, an activist, and the voice of real change in his community and the industry. His influence touched lives on every level, and his death hit many fans hard. But the person likely impacted most deeply was his longtime love, actor Lauren London. Where do we first meet, and what did I think of you the first time we met? She was head over heels sprung from day one. And, and he got met. this wrong. Met, you know the couple met in 2013 when London stopped by Hustle's store to pick up his newest limited release mixtape. Sparks immediately flew, and the chance encounter quickly turned into an Instagram following that transformed into a modern day love story. London shared with GQ just months before Hustle died Our stories are very different. I did not slide into his DMs. My homeboy did. Each was enjoying success in their respective realms of music and acting when London. London became pregnant with their son. Deciding to temporarily step back from her career in order to focus on her family, she recalled with the outlet, "...did I choose my soul or myself? I went with my soul." Together with Hustle's daughter, Amani Dior, and London's son, Cameron, they became a tight-knit family of five after the birth of Cross in 2016. But what appeared to be a fairy tale romance was not without its rough patches. According to Revolt in 2017, Hustle revealed that he and London had actually broken up. At the time, he tweeted, Lauren and I had a dope relationship and made a beautiful child. We are deciding to separate and raise our son together as the main priority." But the break wouldn't last for long. Just a few months later in February 2018, London was by Hustle's side as he released what would be his only studio album, Victory Lap. And by 2019, the two were brushing off rumors from TMZ that they were engaged. Hustle clapped back on Twitter about a photo shoot they did together. It ain't an engagement shoot, it's a GQ magazine shoot with my girl. But almost in a blink of an eye, tragedy struck. After Hustle's death, London posted to Instagram, "'I'm completely lost. I've lost my best friend, my sanctuary, my protector, my soul. I'm lost without you. We are lost without you, babe. I have no words." Never was I prepared for anything like this, so bear with me, y'all. London would later put spoken words to her grief, sharing with the massive gathering of mourners who attended Hustle's funeral. I've never felt this type of pain before. He said you can't possess people, you can only experience them. And I'm so grateful I got to experience such a man. Grief is the final act of love. My heart hears you. I feel you everywhere. I'm so grateful that I had you. I love you beyond this earth. And until we meet again, the marathon continues. <laughs> More than two years later, London has been focusing on spending time with her family and caring for herself. And she has reached out to other women who have also lost loved ones to gun violence. She explained on Red Table Talk in June 2020, "...trauma feels so lonely, and just in talking to these women, they gave me so much more than I feel like I gave to them. They gave me just their stories and just their rawness, and it made me feel not so alone. It was magical. It was very healing." There is life after this life. Yeah. It's not easy. I don't always wake up on the enlightened side of the bed." London has also had to shut down buzz that she's looking for love again. When rumors surfaced about her possibly dating Diddy, she replied in a series of Instagram posts, "...forever and even after, call me Lady Hustle. Still his, never forget." She went even further on her Instagram stories, pleading with the media to stop commenting on her personal situation, writing, "...stop with me in my name. Now let me get back to healing. I'm all love and peace, but never forget I'm a woman in grief, and I don't play about Nip, my family, my character, and code." It's not on you, it's in you. And what's in you, they can't take away. And he's in all of us. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.